A man is hospitalized tonight after being shot by a Columbus police officer early this morning. It happened at the intersection of Parsons and Freebus Avenues in the TJ's parking lot. We thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jennifer Bullock. And I'm Jared Smalley. NBC4's Caleb Michael is live now at the scene after talking to some people who live in that area. And Caleb, what did they tell you? Jared, they told me they weren't sure what the loud noise was. They were hearing outside this morning, but as it kept happening over and over again, they tell me they knew exactly what it was. We weren't sure what it was at first, and, um, and then it repeated after time. The first one I didn't think much of. Um, after the fourth shot, I was like, that's clearly gunshots. Around 5 a.m., people near the intersection of Parsons and Freebus woke up to the sound of gunshots. We heard what turned out to be shots, and then there was a pause, and then we heard later on shots, and then more shots after after that. CPD says they received reports of a man shooting a gun in the TJ's parking lot. When they got to the scene, they say the suspect was still shooting the gun and said he would not obey their commands. One man recounts what he witnessed. They tried to have a conversation with him. He sounded pretty drunk and depressed. You could hear this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was sitting in the back window kind of listening in. It sounded to me, I couldn't see him shoot, but it sounded like he probably fired a shot and then two follow-up shots, I'm guessing, came from the police. I couldn't see them shoot, but uh, that's kind of how things went down. CPD says at least one officer fired their gun and hit the suspect. There were shots fired and, uh, you know, allegedly they were fired at our officers, but BCI is, under, you know, is investigating that. Rose says he will never forget what happened next. Uh, he was still talking, screaming, pain. Um, the police pulled him out from behind the dumpster and, you know, started doing their process of things. CPD says the suspect was taken to the hospital and at last check is in critical condition. CPD tells us they don't know if the man who was firing the gun had an intended target and right now the criminal bureau of investigation is investigating this incident. Local for you in Columbus, I'm taking Caleb Michaels, NBC4.